Welcome back guys, this is Srikant. Today we are going to talk about uh, one of the important question uh, or one of the one, one of the important uh, concept while working with real time data. And the question is can we create auto increment column in a select clause right uh, while creating a new table got perfect. So question is very simple just want to add an auto increment column in a new table. So how we can do that. So if you want to do that just we'll create a table and then we'll alter that table with an identity column. So question is don't use any alter clause because we are saying it's a select clause. So basically it's a DQL. So through DQL you need to create a table. Got it. So basically let's try to understand the question. You would have the old table first. Then you want to move this data to the new table. Great. When you move data from old table to the new table, you need to give identity to each row. So how do you do that? You need to add identity there. Identity column. So this is the question. Question is can we create auto increment column in a select plot? So let's tell me if you want to move data from one table to another table through select law, how we will do that. We will specify their old table name. And then it's a select clause. So all data you can say all columns or home or those columns you need to move to the second table you need to specify. Here you need to write into. If you want to create it in a permanent then you will not use any hash symbol. If you want to create it just for a session purpose or just for a temporary calculation purpose you will use hash. So here we will specify new table name. This is a syntax if you want to move uh, data from the old table to the new table. But imagine if the old table doesn't have any identity and you want to move this data to the new table and you want to create some identity for each row. So you need to specify the, those identity logic here itself. So question is can we create auto increment column in a selector? Yes. The answer for this question is yes. How we can do that? So here you need to you need to write like this. You need to say identity then you need to uh, specify its data type e as in then uh, then its increment value then seed value right this is a normal syntax so what we need to do we need just need to replace our real time tables with these number uh, with this logic and you will be with a new table and there you will have an identity column in a select clause so for demonstration purpose uh, we are going to create a table based on this sample data so we have a data we have one two three four rows and the first is emp id second is dip uh, id so i'm creating a random data i'm saying it's a emp detail okay i created this table and it's an old table for example but after a few days i realized that this table doesn't have an identity or I want to move data to a new table there I want to specify an ID but the problem is here it doesn't have any kind of ID so it is very difficult to spare to identify each row so the answer for this is how we can create the new column in a new table so we just need to write here come here and to Uh, you can say new EMP detail. This is for calculation purpose. Right? EMP detail. If you select this one and you will run this query, you will see what? You will see the four row has been copied to new table and it will be the same like the old one. Still, the identity has not been added so what we need to do we need to drop this table this is for the demo purpose 
So if you are applying the, the drop truncate on the production, be cautious. I'm just showing you demonstration. That's why I'm using a drop and other DML operation. So here you need to write like this identity and the auto increment number should start from one and it should increment by one just give the name i'm saying id or you can put it at the phone at the first place so like this and just run the query now you will see a new column uh, named as id has been added and which is an auto increment number the first value is one second is two third is th uh, three and fourth one is four likewise how many rows you will be having those number of the value would have been generated automatically right so let me repeat the question can we create auto increment column in a select class yes you can create an auto increment column if you don't have auto increment column in a previous table now again i am showing you one interesting thing now we have emp detail no sorry new emp detail let's run this someone can try it now this table already had auto increment column what we are going to do we are copying this logic again and we are trying to recreate this into new table let's say uh, a new employee detail two. now we'll see will we get any error or any issue while creating table or not so we got an error error says cannot add identity column right using the select or into statement which has already inherited the identity property it says that the parent table which you are using which already have an identity column so you new identity column can't be added and you can't do that right so i hope you guys understood that we can add an auto increment column to the select clause we can create it on the fly and one more interesting thing that if you want to use an identity one in a select clause you always need to use with what you always need to use with a into you can't simply see the data so for example if i say like this select star from emp detail uh, comma the identity column let's see what what does it show it says that the identity function can only be used when the select statement has an into clause so if you want to create a new table right then only you can use this identity logic you know so you may have a question then if i want to see the identity or a serial number or a increment number in a select clause how i can do that for that we have the new concept so ranking is a is a one of the important concept while working with the real time data and we'll be talking in next coming video if you guys like our video please don't forget to share and subscribe with your friends and thanks for watching have a great day